If you're a real estate agent or a lender, you're not in sales, you're in service. What's up guys, how you doing? My name is Mike Cuevas, the real estate marketing dude, and welcome to another episode of Brand You, our weekly show that we talk about attraction, referral, and content creation marketing tips specifically for people within the real estate industry. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button above or below my video here, and you'll receive more tips like this weekly. What we're chatting about today is going to be all about the customer service revolution that's attaching itself to the real estate industry because no one in the real estate industry or consumers that is wants to be sold. Instead, they wanna be served. People will refer you based upon how you made them feel, not based upon the house you got them or whatever kick-ass job you did. And that's why your customer service is the most important aspect or marketing mechanism you can use in your business. You see, what's changed in the real estate industry is what consumers expect from their agents. Traditionally, real estate agents were the people and the professionals that helped them find the house. But today, a consumer can easily log on to a site like Zillow or Realtor.com and they could find out about information available for sale without having to ever call a real estate agent. Now, that doesn't mean that people don't need a real estate agent anymore. It's just that what they expect from the real estate agent has changed. And in today's world, a good real estate agent doesn't help people get in and out of properties. It helps them analyze this information about the properties they're getting into and then advising of whether or not that's a good investment or not. The truth is, is that people don't need a realtor anymore. What they do need is more people to help them analyze the decisions they're going to make about the real estate purchases and or sales and then make sure and confirm a wise investment decision. Now, the number one thing that most real estate agents assume is like, oh my God, I must have to give a lower commission in order to compete with the less expensive options that exist out there. That's not quite the case. People are fine with paying your five or six percent commission rate if you're a listing agent, as long as it's justified. So let me go ahead and give you an example of everyday life, same scenario. Let's say I'm hungry and it's around the lunch hour and I only have about 20 minutes to eat. Well, if I really have an appetite for tacos, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and find the nearest taco stand and I'm going to go out and buy those tacos and I'm gonna come back and eat them. I'm looking for a quick fix. The tacos might cost me maybe $10, $12. I'll get the meal, I'll go in and out and it'll be absolutely delicious. But if I was also hungry in the same scenario and it was more like the happy hour, say four or five o'clock and then me and a couple of my friends wanted to go out, have a couple drinks and get some tacos, we might go to a more expensive restaurant where they have margaritas, they have uh, cervezas and we might end up spending another 150 to 200 dollars basically trying to accomplish the same goal in both scenarios i'm hungry but i'm looking for a different experience it really is no different when it comes to real estate see people don't care so much about what you're charging they're wondering if it's justified and that's what people really want so i don't want you to think that because we have a lot of interrupters coming into our industry that well, we gotta start lowering our prices. No, what we need to start doing is justifying them. So how the hell do you compete? There are three ways that you're gonna be able to compete that none of these disruptors will ever compete with you in, and they are as follows. The first is gonna be just in having an extreme local expertise. And one of the things that none of the iBuyers are ever gonna compete with you is having that local expertise and knowing your community front and back. So think about different ways that you can adapt local expertise into your customer service experience that'll have you outperforming the experience levels of Zillow's or some of the other iBuyers, for example. The second way is gonna be in the facilitation of the transaction or what people actually remember. Think about when you're showing people different houses. What can you do throughout the course that none of these other companies can do? Something as simple as having coffee ready for your client when they get in the car with you is a big deal. Going out to dinner after you've seen some properties and going over and analyzing the good, bad, and the ugly of what they just saw. But in addition to that is also gonna be the one-on-one -on -one experience during the course of the transaction with your clients. You guys almost become inseparable. And until the transaction closes, it's quite frequent to be talking to your clients on a daily basis. And that, my friends, is exactly where the relationship is built and how important it is because if you provide a good experience, you're locking in referrals in the future and definitely their repeat business. And the last way to do it, especially if you're on the listing side, is become a better marketer. Like most people, when they're selling their properties, they want to actually sell it for the most amount of money. So if that's the case, that's truly what a real estate agent brings to the forefront. We have to position ourselves as a marketer versus a typical real estate agent because that's why people are coming to us. 
So that could be in a, offering a different menu of services that go above and beyond just listing it on the MLS and putting a sign in the yard. It could also be creating a lesser expensive option for people that don't need videos and all these other services. The point being is that what we have to do is just start creating and defining what the level of services that we offer and then make sure it's what people want. And more importantly, it's what they remember. So folks, instead of focusing so much of your efforts on your next lead generation campaign or where your next lead's gonna come from, what if you started focusing some of those efforts on how you can generate a couple of referrals off of every transaction that you have by exemplifying an exceptional customer experience? I hope this video helped tie in a couple loose ends for you guys. Customer service is the future of our business. It's the last thing we have left and it's the only thing that we can control that none of the iBuyers or other lesser expensive competition can ever compete against. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe above or below this video and connect with us on social. Ask me any question you like. I'd read these comments and I would be happy to answer any questions for you and get back to you in a timely manner. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Brand You. My name is Mike Cuevas, the real estate marketing dude, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.